Today on Shelter Food and Beer, we're going to be making meatloaf. And we've all made meatloaf. We're going to make our first ever vegetarian meatloaf. Let's get started. Mmm. Okay, so I prepped the vegetables, sauteed them down, put them in a bowl, letting them cool. Got the potatoes going for the mashed potatoes. And now my wife will work on the thickening agent. Is that what you would call it? Binder. The binder. The binder for her meatloaf. She's vegetarian. She's not vegan. Mm -hmm. So therefore she can use an egg product in her meatloaf, which I always do anyway. And of course, we compost. She used two eggs and some nice fresh sourdough bread. Make regular meatloaf for you. Um, normally I do milk in bread, but I think that'll be too wet for a, a product that doesn't have the natural fattening binder of meat. How many forks do you need for this? I need six. You like um, Max Scissorhan? What's that guy's name? I do a large bowl with my cooled down vegetables in at the bottom of it. And I'm going to be using this Beyond Beef meat substitute. A pound of that. And then I won't be using this entire package of pure farmland Italian mild Italian sausage. I'll use maybe two thirds of it. So Moose drool on ice, a brown L on shelter food and beer. We have our sauteed vegetables, our burger, our faux burger, and our faux sausage mixed in with the bread and eggs. And you probably should just get it in there with your hands, right? Oh, yeah, that's and give it a thorough mixture. Don't lose your wedding ring. I don't have one on. What? I am so insulted. I was painting. Yeah, yeah. Well, the town red. So I'm feeling like this is still pretty wet. We might want to add a little bit of breadcrumb. At this point, to dry it out a little, we're going to add the breadcrumbs. But at the same time, we're going to add our seasoning. And we're using this wonderful gifted seasoning from our in-laws well that's good not a lot this meat unlike real meat they seasoned this stuff to make it taste like meat we've preheated the oven 375 we'll stick it in this glass baking dish which we've covered the bottom with garlic olive oil because remember there's no fat in this product so we have to add a little oil to keep well it I, there is fat but it's not the same as a beef fat would be vegetarian fat tends to be loose and go like that whereas beef fat tends to tighten up and become a you know like um a, a gelatinous kind of mass gelatinous, gelatinous thing. are we going to sauce it at some point 30 minutes in the oven at 375 take it out then we will sauce it for, and put it back in the oven for another 15 20 minutes. How's that? That's beautiful. Looks pretty perfect. That's a loaf of meat. That's a meatless loaf. Meatless loaf. Ketchup. Yellow mustard. More 
catch up. Give it some body by and some sweetness by putting some honey in it. Use some more of that seasoning. Oh, and the secret sauce. A little bit of whiskey. The 30 minute alarm went off. So okay. It's time to pull the meatloaf out. Check it out. It's looking Ooh, good. that looks awesome. So this is getting really close to done. I'm gonna pour this sauce a generous amount. Oh, I think I made the perfect amount too. Put that back in the oven for another 15, 20 minutes. There's your basic meatloaf comfort food spread. Looks and smells delicious. So here we go at our first and not last attempt at meatless meatloaf. That's fantastic. That's incredible. That's incredible. Wow. 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 I know. You know. It's so good. I was gonna make a good sandwich too. Mm. Oh yeah, it's really firm. The texture's on point. Yeah, fresh, full of flavor. I'm glad I added only a third of it with the sausage. You could taste the sausage mm -hmm. taste, but it's mm -hmm. not overwhelming to the the mm -hmm. burger. It's it's a perfect meatloaf. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your help. Shelter food and beer. Mm. This is a winner. How about that mashed potatoes? Awesome.